after a month or two of delay, it's finally here, the Honeycomb Aeronautical. We've got the box and we're going to unbox it. Let's go. Right, so I got this from Amazon. I'm not sure if it was delayed from the uh, actual manufacturer's website, but on Amazon it was delayed until today when we got it. But basically, after doing a, a lot of research on flight yokes, um, it would seem as if this is the, the best value for money flight yoke to go for. Uh, personally, my experience with flight yokes is I've used the, um, the Satec flight yoke and I really didn't think that much of it, but I've not had a chance to use this, so uh, I'm optimistic to see what it's like. I've been really excited to actually get this. Um, we're gonna take it out of the box here. You see it comes in a nice sort of uh, sleeved box. Quite, quite chunky, quite heavy, which is reassuring when you buy a, a game controller, you know, if it, if it arrives in a super light box, you're kind of thinking, mm, what have I paid for? Is it worth it? Um, on the outside of the box, uh, it, it says all the details. You've got the rocker switches. Uh, you, you've got switches on the actual body of the flight yoke and then on the actual uh, yoke itself. Um, it comes with a, uh, a mounting bracket, which is nice, so you can stick it on the desk. I think we're going to try and work our way of sticking it on the sim rig. I'm not, I'm not really figured out how we're doing that. It's going to have to go along with the steering wheel. Um, but yeah, so let's get it out of the box. Let's have a look. Unfortunately, the box that it's arrived in has, has ripped in my case. So RIP for if I wanted to sell this on. I'll have to give a ripped box discount. Look at that, it's nice. I quite like the uh, Honeycomb Aeronautical logo here with the aeroplane flying over a honeycomb. Uh, ironically, aeroplanes are killing all the bees. So... Uh, but this is sim equipment, so this isn't actually an aeroplane, so it's all okay. Us sim guys are Greta Thornburg accepted. So I'll do this here, and uh, we're greeted by a nice amount of uh, foam holding everything together, so uh, hopefully all the kit's good. We've got the Alpha flight control instructions, some uh, little rubber dampener things. Not sure what they're for, probably to do with uh, how you clip it on. Um, nicely presented there, we've got a uh, sort of, uh, it looks like an ethernet cable, which I'm not sure if that's uh, probably how you connect the honeycomb um, yoke to the uh, other accessories. Honeycomb or honeycomb aeronautical do um, a bunch of different stuff that you can get like um, throttle units and what have you. So, uh, and I think the company's gonna come out with more stuff and I hope in the future they come out with a force feedback unit. At, at the moment, we've only got Brunner that I'm aware of that do force feedback yokes and that, in my opinion, is the holy grail but uh, unfortunately this doesn't have any force feedback. Uh, we've got a USB-C cable, and that'll be interesting if this actually, uh, if this is USB-C on the back. This will be the first input device I've ever had that's USB-C. Boy, the excitement, guys. The USB future. And uh, we lift off the top here. It's actually, is somewhat reminiscent of uh, Fanatec packaging, actually, weirdly. Maybe this company's secretly in cahoots <laughs> with the Fanatec boys and girls. Um, for those of you who don't know, Fanatec make uh, steering wheels and uh, driving sim stuff. This is for this is for three-dimensional driving flight yokes. None of that, none of that, none of that driving on the ground. We've got wheels and we've got wings when it comes to flying. Okay, so we've got got the actual yoke itself there. We've got these clamps, uh, really nice solid metal clamps actually for the. Uh, the mount unit there. Yeah, so that's everything out of the box. And uh, let's, pack, let's take this out of the uh, packaging. First impressions though, everything does look pretty nice and sturdy. It does seem really nice and solid. Um, immediately, my first impression of this is way better. I haven't even touched the actual mechanism, but just the, the visuals of it and the feel of the plastic and the weight of it all seems way 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 higher quality than the uh, Logitech flight yoke. And look at that, that is <laughs> it's actually really nice. It's got a really nice um, matte plastic finish which uh, isn't actually getting fingerprints and stuff on it and just looks really legit. <laughs> it actually looks really really nice. Good job. Good job, Honeycomb Aeronautical. That looks proper solid. Nice little bit of curve to it. 
like the uh, the honeycomb design on the front of it to go along with their whole branding. We've got the uh, the switches that are built into it, which is super handy. The fact that you've got a flight yoke that comes with a bunch of buttons on it. It's effectively got a button box built in. And we've got like one, two, three, four up and down switches, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five at, at the bottom as well. And then we've got a uh, the uh, sort of start key options on there plus the buttons on the actual yoke itself which adds a ton of value i think if you want to you know if you if you're more of a casual flight sim type person such as myself you don't really want to be buying loads of separate things it's, especially if you do driving sims and other sims you've already got button boxes lying around probably um you, you want to you know you don't want to have as, um, all this clutter if it can be built into the actual unit um, and that's that's spot on also you notice how i've uh, just stick, stuck this on this coffee table but it just rests and uh, it's got a grip on the bottom of it. So even without using the uh, mount, you can actually just rest it and it looks like it will, I know, it will move. <laughs> it, it will move if you just stick it on the table. I don't think it will uh, grip. Maybe a bit of Velcro, to be honest, might actually stick it to a desk. You might not even need the clamp. Yeah, a bit. Of, uh, to be honest, a bit of Velcro, I think, would hold it on. Let's, uh, let's have a little feel of the mechanism here. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Totally, totally smooth. Ah, so the left and right action, it, it's got like 90 degrees left, 90 degrees right, but that um, action of the um, yoke, that turning action, feels uh, really smooth. There's no like, um, sort of stiction in it or dampening. It's, it's a very sort of springy feel to it. It's not, it doesn't feel totally linear. It's got an, uh, more resistance initially and then it fall, and then the resistance falls off on the, on the sort of last 15, 20 degrees, the resistance falls off. But, you know, it, that feels nice. And the, uh, the in and out, let's have a look here. We need to do this with it, either Velcro down or mounted, but the in and out movement, not as smooth as the left and right movement, but to be honest, perfectly, perfectly fine. I mean, my experience with flying real planes is limited to a single Cessna and the flight yoke in that real plane felt absolutely atrocious. <laughs> with like dampening and God knows what going on. Uh, but obviously in a real plane, you've got G-forces and things happening. So, you, you know, the yoke can feel terrible, but you're just, you're just moving the plane with your fingertips based off the movements of it. So even if the yoke feels awful, it, it doesn't matter so much. So, uh, but with a, with a flight sim, um, you kind of need that smoothness, uh, unless you've got, I guess if you had a motion rig or something, which probably most people don't have, then it'd be more analogous to, to the real thing. But man, that just feels, that off, off the top of the bat, just the turning and the up down movement feels like it'll be absolutely fantastic as an input device. And feels, I, I mean, as I said, it doesn't feel like a real plane flight yoke from my experience, but it, uh, if, it, if it captures the function and the utility and it generally transfers across, then I think most people that are using it as a pure simulation device would be happy with it. And certainly in my case, uh, if this actually gets a nice input when we actually test it with a simulator, um, from a functionality standpoint, this, this is going to be awesome. Uh, and way better, I'm ragging on Satek here, way better than when I use the Satek flight, uh, flight yoke. This just, just feels really lovely and smooth. Nice buttons actually built onto the uh, yoke itself. Um, really nice little grip feel to it. I'd say it's probably, in terms of the actual hand grip, we've got another button here, like the radio button back there. Um, in terms of the hand grip molding, if you're holding it lightly, with my, my hands are sort of in, in the sort of moving towards the larger size hands. Um, but the moulding of it feels to me like it'll accommodate a, a wide um, variety of hands. T typically, when you're when you're playing with a flying a plane, you're, you're sort of using your fingertips very gently to fly anyway. You're not like gripping onto it, like you're going nose diving in a thunderstorm. But uh, I'd imagine this would be really comfortable for it for a good range of uh, hand sizes, and the buttons and stuff all seem to fall relatively well for your thumb. I'd say the actual the hat the hat button though. Um, is when you when you use the hat on here, your thumb ends up resting on the uh, these two buttons here, um, the two the two up and down options. 
but uh, I guess you use them for the for the trim settings. So you might, but they're stiff, so you're not gonna using the hat. You're not gonna accidentally push those buttons. But ergonomically, I would say that hat button. If you're using the hat to look around in the sim a lot, uh, that's not ideal. That could have done with being a little bit higher. And same with the button. The button on this on the right hand side, the two uh, sideways. Um, we call them like toggles, and the two sideways buttons on there are interrupting that. But other than that, that there we go, we found a negative. Other than the hat button being a little bit tricky to activate if you're trying to hold onto it in the in the general grip position, the uh, the visual ergonomics, the build quality, the feel of it, I'm super super hyped <laughs> to actually try this out with X Pain 11 and then Microsoft Flight Sim. 2020. Yeah, it is, it is USB-C, and you've got a uh, you've got a button on the back of it for uh, setting the uh, LED light uh, on the, on the front. You can actually have it so it illuminates. So I guess if you're flying in the dark, you get an illuminated panel. Um, where's this uh, Ethernet port on here? Where does that go? What is that? about? Oh, there you go. So the Ethernet port's on the front of the device. Um, so I guess you connect that to the other units from the front rather than the back, which might make it look a bit of a cable mess, but there's probably a reason for that. But uh, there you go, guys. That, that is our unboxing of the uh, Honeycomb Aeronautical Flight Yoke. First impressions, hype! <laughs> First impressions, I'm actually really happy. Um, I, you know, you don't know with these sorts of controllers. Uh, flight input devices seem to a bit all over the place at the moment, but this seems to uh, tickle that, that flight yoke pickle. Um, as I say, I bought this from Amazon. Um, I would recommend buying stuff from Amazon, uh, flight yokes and controllers and stuff, because they have really good support if anything breaks. You don't have to go through the individual random companies, you just send it to Amazon, they sort it out. Um, and of course, primarily, I have the Amazon affiliate link underneath the video, so if you decide to get one of these and you want to help the channel out and you want to do some flying with us, uh, use our Amazon affiliate link, and I really appreciate that. But uh, yes, we'll have a review of this once we've had a chance to actually test it with the various flight sims, so look out for that. Click that subscribe button, hit the like button. Until then, thanks for watching, happy flying, happy tea drinking, and goodbye.